it's a tight site. So this is why we use a surveyor to make sure these houses are in the right spot. So we're back on site and the survey has been in just behind me here and there, there and there in the four corners and just over here we've set up profiles. On the profiles we've shot a nail and so every one of our homes is a thumbprint on this. While as a builder we can do a set out ourselves, what we do nowadays is every one of our homes is set out by a surveyor. We get them to come and use their GPS instruments and mark exactly where the corners of the building are going. They put what's called building lines up for us and that marks exactly where the edges of the building are going to be. As the sites get tighter and tighter and as we do more and more of these subdivisions, having little systems like that is important to ensure that we don't put the house in the wrong place. So we've also marked over here the floor level and we will then use that as a datum for the rest of the setup. So what does a surveyor do? Uh, well, to start with, I am not a surveying expert, even though you've seen me do my own topo. And storing, let's blast this one out. If you haven't already, go ahead, click subscribe, let's go. If you've got a site that you're chopping up, one of the first things you'll do is get the surveyor in. They'll do what's called a topographical survey. That will give them a lay of the land and they'll mark like where is the boundary, where are the existing fences in relation to the boundary. Where are the services? What's the lay of the land like in terms of like undulation? Is there any vegetation? waterways, all that sort of stuff, becomes a plan that marks all of that and then that gets sent to the planner and the designer and they use that to work out exactly how they're going to chop your site up. I suppose the thing is that I'm in this house right now and then over here I'm in the neighbour's house. Somewhere in here is the boundary and, and each boundary has a setback. You're allowed the house to be 1.5 off one side and three meters off your other sides. I think each area and each subdivision has different rules, even in Upper Hutt. If we are a rear lot or a rural lot, you have a different bunch of setbacks. Basically, you've got to look at your district plan, you've got to work with your planner. All of that stuff gets worked out at building consent phase though. So that's just one of the jobs that the designer and the surveyor will do for us before we even start building. You'll engage them to come and start marking out the new boundaries, the foundations. So the survey we use also completes an engineering report of all the new services needing to go in. They do way more than just marking out the four boundaries. Back on the section nobody wanted, I talked about the most complicated setup I've ever done. On a flat site like this, it's a breeze, it takes a couple of hours, you can see the outline, we should chuck a drone up and you'll be able to see the outline, this would actually be a real cool drone shot Sam. Right here is the corner of the build and so on a flat site, it's so easy to do all this kind of work but even then we still use a surveyor, especially when we're doing these rear lot subdivisions, especially as the tights get cider, cider. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially as the sites get tighter. Uh, at the end of the day, I want the surveyor to tell me where to put it, not the other way around. <laughs> What's so funny, Sam? <laughs> this is two meters, it should be two meters. Yeah, because did you know this thing about hand span? As your like, hand spans the width of your body, so. And the exact distance between the, the house. The exact <laughs> distance is one Josh hand span <laughs> tight tallness away from the boundary. You know, councillor turns up and you just say, yep. Yeah, it's a hand span away. What, what would you call this? An arm span? Yeah. Yeah, it's an arm span away from the fence. She's good to go. <laughs> 